Hey Rep Bags, it's Jade with a small land video today. The brand new update, The Forbidden Monuments, is coming in on 20th, but I've been given some exclusive early access alongside some other creators to show you some stuff now. There is some big changes. The leveling system is much needed and it definitely adds a lot more replayability to the game. But there are a few issues that I'm still kind of working out. So I'm going to talk to you about what I do know this week and then hopefully give you another updated video with detailed stats on each piece of XP that you get from each creature and the best way to farm them. Let's go. So it's a pretty simple system. Kill creatures, gain XP, level up. With each level up that you get, up to a maximum of 100, you can then sink some points into four different attributes at the moment. You've got strength, which increases your damage output by a percentage, so each one will give you 1% extra. Then you've got dexterity, which is going to increase your speed by 0.5. Again, that's a percentage. Then you've got constitution, which is going to increase your health by one point. So not a percentage, but by one point. And then endurance, again, that's going to increase your stamina bar by one point. So where a little bit of confusion comes in is your first point, you might get two or three points the first time you level up. And then after that, you seem to get more points as you progress. Well, seemingly, that's what I've noticed. And as you get more points, sometimes you can't always level them up in the right stack completely. So if you leave it and you accumulate 20 points, you can't just sink all 20 of them points into your constitution, making you an absolute tank. Instead, it will give you the ability to put the majority into something, but then you have to put the rest of the points in the other attributes. Honestly, it feels a bit like a glitch, so I don't want to go over it too much. But yes, you get the idea. You're going to get points. You're going to be able to throw them into your stats and go ham and make sure that your character is more tanky, faster, got more stamina or the ability to run quicker. As said, I'm going to work on like the levels that you can get, how much XP you'll need and kind of creatures that give all the different XP amounts so you know which ones to go and farm. Maybe not the best tip for a new player to small lands, but if you're pretty geared up, you can head over to the crypt and farm these little bloodsuckers, and they give a huge amount of XP. Like 220 XP, something like that per kill. As opposed to a bull ant that you're going to see me kill, where I only got 24 XP for actually finishing it. Creatures in the wild have different stats as well now, so they'll have their own attributes, and some will be faster, stronger, hit harder or have more stamina. So you need to use your sense a little bit more just so you can get a good view of what they've actually got going on. This might mean you might not want to tame every creature that you go and attack now because it's got some terrible stamina or terrible health. Now, of course, you can increase that, but obviously it's a good head start if you know that creature you want has already got one of the attributes pumped up. Not all creatures have different levels though. Some creatures are going to be pretty much just the same no matter what. So you'll come across maybe ant drones as well as the bee drones. They tend to not have any numbers. And it doesn't look like how high their level is really affects how much XP you get. It's more about the type of creature. Sure, when you go and take on some creatures, they're going to have more health or more stamina versus another one of its type. So far, I haven't noticed that you get more XP for killing a higher level stag beetle compared to a normal one. When you go and inspect your creature once you've tamed it, you can then see its stats. Also crucial information of the max level that you can raise this creature to. So I got this tame at level 7 and you can see its max level is going to be 17. So you can't just keep making the most badass tames going. You are eventually going to have to maybe swap it out and see if you can get a higher level one or one that's got more of the attributes that you really want. But again, you can do the same thing, pump up your pet with the same attributes. So make it stronger, make it more stamina, make it faster, or have some more health. I said I'm going to delve deeper. I want to give you the exact kind of stats for each creature so you know which ones will be the most effective to go and maybe farm to level up. And that's important because you are going to come across much harder creatures now, and that means your character, especially if you've been playing a long time, is going to kind of be a bit understated compared to someone who's new and getting their stats as they play and progress. So you really will maybe have to think about which method you could go for in terms of farming up some harder creatures to get the most XP. Now you'll know from games like Ark that you can get a plethora of different style looking creatures, 20 different billion colours in raptors, t-rexes and whatnot. And for the first time it does look like Small Land is going down that route. You can find special different colours of certain creatures by looks of things in certain places. This purple gecko you can find in the caves near the coastline underneath all the roots. 
big shout out to Chicky for that one. So I will be looking again for any rare ones that I find and giving you a location video of where possibly you can can't find color variants. They are kind of rare. I went around all of the crypt and pretty much a lot of the forest and didn't really come across too many different looking ones. But I have seen a different, slightly different colored grasshopper that isn't just one of the nighttime variants as well. Doesn't seem to matter if you get the kill while riding your pet or whether or not you do it on your own, you'll get the same XP. I killed stag beetles on my own and then I killed them with my hornet and I got exactly the same amount. Although I can't be certain about your pet or your tame, if you're not riding it, does it also get the same amount of XP? It definitely does gain some if you're fighting alongside your creature. Obviously that makes sense with some of the other pets that you can't mount. But I do want to test exactly how much XP you kind of get, whether or not it's shared. But by the looks of things, you both get the same. Something else you should really know as well, if your creature's like a low level tame, so some of the early game tames, you will gain XP pretty quickly. So I'm pretty certain I gained like two or three levels with my gecko with only a few encounters with some of the bugs and creatures laying around. But by the time I got the Hornet, it took forever to get my first set of XP. So I'm going to do a bit more testing and taming to see if it's to do with the level of the Hornet. So that obviously mine was level seven, maybe a level one will gain XP a bit quicker or whether it's down to actual tiers of creatures. Given that the tiers of creatures don't really matter in terms of XP, I reckon it's that, that it depends on the creature and that's how quick they'll level up. Shout out to Chicky Rocker again, one of my rat bags. She also managed to tame a blue tip before me and she told me it was taking her a long time to get her first level up killing creatures as well. So I guess that makes sense to stop some of the highest level tier creatures becoming too OP too quickly. And last few things you need to know, obviously you can get XP via harvesting and different resources are going to give you different amounts. So rare drops or rare resources like pyrite will give you 5 XP per harvest. But mushrooms here, they're only going to give you 2. It does look like you don't get any kind of XP for crafting items either. Weigh up whether or not it's worth getting some new creatures and see if they've got the right stats that suit your playstyle. Do you want something to be quick and have more stamina so you can glide across the map quicker? Or do you want maybe your Hornet to have more damage and more health? I'm hoping they add some way we can create a respec potion. I'm pretty sure that will come eventually as it would be nice to be able to respec your character eventually or maybe even some pets. Remember also you can have up to 50 creatures as tames now obviously we still don't have the stables but i reckon that will be a good way that you'll be able to just put them in storage rather than have 20 bugs littered around your base and then another 20 hornets flying in the sky them stables aren't part of this update and they did say they would be coming soon so i'm hoping that will be the next one maybe as for now if you want to swap your pets then you should know by now you've got to go back to where you keep all your pets and swap them over manually otherwise if you use your whistle you'll simply call the last one that you had active so there we go as i said more details coming in a comprehensive video but because this is a bit of an early access i didn't want to go too ham with it in case they make any changes but i've got something wrong i gladly have some corrections and that'll help me make the definitive leveling up video for small land by the time it's ready for everyone to play do go and check out my other guides on how to get access to the brand new biome area as well as how to tame the new blue tit. And I'll see you rat bags for more small down content soon. Bye bye.